all heard about the bootstrapper's curse, maybe we can hear all about yours. Yeah, no, we can hear all about yours. But, are we, y'all actually want me to talk about my sex? <laughs> well, Come on, Mr. Storyteller. I would be glad to. You give me some drama music. I would like to feel special when I talk about my sex. You see, mate, because I know a lot of you are looking up here thinking, wow, how does someone so good looking, handsome, Charming, uh, charismatic. How someone like this becomes a pirate? I don't know. Well, I tell you something. I never wanted to be a pirate. I had dreams of my own. Dreams of becoming the greatest shoemaker that ever lived. But I fell into a bad habit called gambling. You ever gamble any of you? Well, if you're not in the habit, you're not getting the habit. Because I ended up in a lot of debt to a man by the name of Captain Jack Sparrow. You ever heard of him? Well, I did not have the gold to pay him back, so in exchange, he took me on as a member of his crew so I could work off my debt to him on the Black Pearl. Well, my sister and I, we made a plan to steal a lot of gold from a very rich woman so we could buy back my freedom and I could make shoes again. But we were caught. And it turned out that the woman we tried to rob, she was a Gypsy. She put a Gypsy curse on us along with these rings that we cannot take off of our hands and as long as we wear them, we cannot speak. Imagine that, man. It's a pirata who cannot steal. That's pretty much the worst thing ever, right? Well, the only way to break the curse is to find a third matching ring. Mine is red. My sister's is blue. Out there, there is one with an amber stone. So let me see everybody's hands. Anybody have a big amber stone? Well, until the day that I find it, and return all three to the Gypsy woman, that is my curse. But I guess we're all cursed one way or another. Ain't that right? Thank you very much.